Hey loves, this is Nicolette from Nicolette Style. Today I want to show you how to create your own branded patterns using Canva. Branded patterns are just a really great way for your brand to stand out and have a unique look and feel. You can get some really great patterns on Canva and Creative Market and Etsy and even Ho Chocolate has some great patterns in her monthly graphics pack. But if you have an icon that you want to use for a pattern or you're just curious how to create something unique, maybe you're after a particular feather in a certain color or a flower or a coffee mug, then if you want to learn how to do that, you're in the right place. You're going to want to jump into Canva and decide on if you want the pattern to be square or horizontal or vertical. Usually what I do is I create it in a square format and I like to use 2500 by 2500 pixels so that when I export it, it is really good quality. Then the first way and the easiest way to create your own pattern is to go to Elements and scroll down right to the end and you'll see that there are a few pattern options. You would go through these patterns and see if there's something that would work for your brand. Another thing you can do is if you're not seeing the patterns and at the end is just to type in the word pattern in the search box and then you'll see a few options come up. So the reason I like to use Canva for my own branded patterns is because a lot of the time I find really cute patterns on Creative Market, but it's harder to get the exact color that I'm looking for that is my brand colors. So that's great about being able to create your own patterns inside of Canva. There we created something really quick and easily. And so what's great about this one is you can change out the colors. Another tip I have for you is to try and use something that is free. Um, if you do use something that's paid, then try and make as many variations of your pattern that you can while you've got that 24 hours to tweak your design and then export it and upload it into your brand kit section so that it's easy to use in Canva and with your Canva designs. So as you can see, Canva already has a few great options that you can use. Some of it free, some of it paid. So if you don't want to reinvent the wheel, that is something that you can do. You can also look for elements or icons. Maybe if you are a camping, if you have a camping business and you want to create a little pattern with flasks, this might be a good approach. And so all I do now is I try and figure out the pattern that I want. Do you want them all in a line or do you want some to be bigger and some to be smaller? So figure out the pattern that you're after and then try to be consistent in how you create the rest of that pattern. You can also search by name. So you can go coffee. You can also make them different colors. And once you've got your pattern down, you know, your recipe, your rhythm, you can figure out how you want to copy them. Make them bigger or smaller. You always want to think about where you're going to use your pattern. For instance, here, what I've done is I've just taken two different kinds of leaves and I've added them in um, a different pattern over here. And then what you can do is once you've got your pattern down, you can select all of it and you can change the color. So that's this one over here and this one. You can also go feather if you're after a feather. You can create flamingos. Those are two ways in which to use the elements inside of Canva to create your own branded patterns. Now say for instance you already have feathers that you want to use or flowers from something that you've purchased on Etsy or Creative Market, then you would import that into Canva and you would just go about creating 
a unique kind of pattern for yourself. Just like I'm doing over here, I'm resizing, I'm playing around, I've picked two different feathers that I want to work with. Now all I'm doing is I'm just playing around and I try and focus on an area until I get it to look just the way I want. And I try and balance the elements and I just keep copying what I'm already using. I'll show you one more example. This is a flower download that I got from off of Hot Chocolate. And you can use flip horizontal, flip vertically, just to get that petal to look and fall a little differently. So yeah, you get the idea. There's no right or wrong way. Just play around. Um, I just wanted to show you how fun and easy it is to create your own unique patterns using Canva. What I usually like to do is to create the look that I'm looking for. If I'm using the elements inside of Canva, I will try and make that in my brand colors. And then what I do is I export it as a PNG if you have Canva for work with a transparent background. And then what you can do is either create a folder called patterns and upload them in there, or you can directly add them into your logos folder so that you do have those key brand patterns close by and easy to access. Here in my pattern folder, you'll see the difference between downloading your pattern as a PNG just this one or a JPEG. So a JPEG will always look like this with the white background. When it's a JPEG, you can change up the background. You can drag it over different color backgrounds. So that's just something to think about as well. And so now you can use your patterns in your graphics in a fun and unique way.